Hello folks, good to see you all and welcome back. God, it's good to be out. <laughs> Always very satisfying to uh, make a fire using flint and steel. I did cheat a little bit. I had that um, tinder bundle sort of pre-made. Someone sent us some uh, cheeses as a present and I was more interested in the uh, packaging <laughs> rather than the actual cheese itself. And the, um, the first little bit was actually some coconut husk, which we got from um, some very old um, hanging baskets. Um, so it's recycled, I didn't have to buy it as such. Today I'm going to do a bit of cooking. I was toying with doing an overnighter, but uh, I'm uh, stacking up on my brownie points, let's just say, at home in the moment. So I'm not going to spend the uh, night out here, but I am coming to do some great cooking, I hope. Um, and it involves duck this evening. It is just getting towards the evening now. Um, my wife doesn't like duck, therefore the rest of my family doesn't like duck. I absolutely love it. So we're going to make a really good cook up tonight. I'll show you what I've got. So firstly, I've got uh, a duck breast here. I'm going to dry it off with a bit of kitchen uh, paper shortly. I've got some ready cubed potatoes. I've got a bit of garlic in there and I've also uh, got a bit of fresh rosemary. A tub of creme fraiche. Some honey. Red wine vinegar. Whole grain mustard. And a sauce pot turned by my son Sam who's also provided the music with this video. And of course my trusty homemade Spoon. Now you saw me making the fire there and uh, this had a bit of a modification to it in that I want to use one of my uh, billy cans as an oven because what I'm going to do is fry the duck and then I'm going to just finish it off um, with a very very hot, um, well it's a bake really, in my billy, billy can. Um, and I'm going to put some um, of the embers on top of the billy so it's surrounded uh, so it's getting heat from all directions and I'm using a 14 inch zebra billy uh, today which uh, I modified with these coat hanger style clasps that keep the lid on so when it's sideways as an oven this lid can, re can release sort of steam and pressure and so on but this lid doesn't uh, fall off into the embers and I also found, very conveniently, this grill, which, well it's not a grill, but this separator so that the duck won't be uh, touching any of the walls of the billy. That fits in there perfectly. And once uh, I've fried the duck off a little bit, I can just place it on there in my billy can oven. So whilst that uh, pan's heating up there, I'm just going to prepare the duck a little bit, make some scores. Just in the skin here. And then I'm just going to dry it off with a bit of kitchen towel. and season it with just a bit of salt. I do an annual medical, <laughs> obviously every year, and uh, every time I have to go and uh, do a sample for the doctor, I'll steal a couple of his spare uh, sample pots. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. I hope he's not watching this. I will be rationing them. Okay, let's get this on the uh, frying pan. And you'll see with duck that there's absolutely no extra oil needed once this starts to gather the heat and uh, cook down you'll see the amount of fat that comes out the uh, breast of the duck and that's really useful because I'm going to be uh, 
using that for the rest of the recipe. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to sear that on this side for a little bit longer before I fire up the oven. And that'll do me, I think. I'm just going to take this out, pop it in there for a bit. Well, I'm certainly not a gambler, but I'm hearing that duck breast there popping and banging inside that oven, which means there's obviously being some heat generated, um, and quite a lot. It's had about five minutes now. I think I'll only give it about another five minutes. And then whilst uh, that's resting, I'll rearrange the fire, get the pan on again, and start on those potatoes and the uh, sauce to go with the duck. That last video I did where I cooked the gyoza up here, I still laugh about it because I was saying that I'd found this really secret part of the woods and uh, there's no sign of anyone being here and uh, no bike tracks, no litter, anything like that. And as I press pause on the camera, <laughs> there's this little lad of about eight standing just out of shot in a Batman costume. <laughs> Presumed the lad had flown up here, that he's the only person that I've ever seen get up here. And his parents were calling for him, so he'd obviously had a bit of a scramble and escaped. So, fingers crossed that I don't uh, get Batman or any other superhero um, joining me this evening. Well, that's now had 10 minutes. And I think that's a pretty intense heat. So I'm going to remove the billy, making some great noises in there. Take it off the heat, and I'm just going to leave that duck in there to rest whilst I get to work on the potatoes. That residual oil is just perfect. And then with the spuds. Well, they are nicely cooked now. I'm just going to pop these in my billy can dish. And I'll just leave those there to keep warm. And finally, we'll move on to the sauce. So we're going to put some whole grain mustard in. Yep. 
Let's put it about a bit. You see those, they're popping now, those, uh, oh, you haven't got fire debris in your food, you're not doing proper cooking. So add to that some honey. And in there goes some, yes, a little bit, red wine vinegar. And just off the heat, and add some creme fraiche. Let that cook down. Great. So I'll just let that heat up and prepare the uh, the board. Just, just how I want it. I didn't want to cook it any more than that. Just look at that. Juicy, delicious. Now for the sauce. And I'll give it a go. Bit of the duck first into the sauce. Potato. Look at that. <laughs> Do a hazy. <laughs> That's your work. Oh, potatoes are. I mean, taste of rosemary, the garlic. Oh, just delicious. If you were here, I'd share it. I'll consider that a success. Um, I'm really pleased with the Billy Can oven. What a great way to cook. If you get a little insert for it, all you need is um, a piece of that disposable barbecue mesh and you're, uh, you're laughing, just to keep whatever you're cooking um, away from the sides of the Billy Can. It's a um, great way to cook, really successful. That duck just needed, in fact, learning from um, as I go on, I'd probably just give that about sort of six or seven minutes in there. It's all it needed after it had been fried. But, great. So, that's about it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just, uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying the journey with YouTube. I hope you find that the quality of them is uh, picking up a little bit on getting great hints and tips from uh, fellow YouTubers. I've got a couple of great uh, little um, videos planned and uh, I'll finish this off and then uh, I've got a bit of dessert to have. Well that was spectacular, even though I say so myself.
and those of you who have seen my occasional not successful videos like my tarp efforts in the woods in the wind know that I'm pretty honest about um, my failings as well as my successes but that was delicious recipe will go in the uh, description below so time for dessert Well, I found this in the freezer. It just says dessert on it, so who knows? That's what it looks like. Give that a few minutes, see what it comes up with. All right, so time to open up. Well, that's uh, <laughs> I had forgotten what that was. I'll just get the first bit out there. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yep, stop. Oh, very nice. Oh. And a uh, little bit further. There you go. So who knew dehydrating could be so versatile? Cheers everyone. Mm. What an idiot. <laughs> Gotta throw it in somehow. Thank you very much for watching folks. Very much enjoyed making this video, it was a success. All the details will go below. I hope you enjoyed the music. Uh, thank you very much for over 2,000 subscribers. I'm really thrilled. Got some great videos planned. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Leave nothing but ice cubes. <laughs>